Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Sarah. And the sweet little girl on my lap is my niece Mavis. So it'll be interesting to see how long she lasts for this. So let's get started. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I am fine, I hope you are too. I am fine, I hope you are too. I am fine, I hope you are too. I hope you're fine today. Clap in my hands, you do it too. Clap in my hands, you do it too. Clap in my hands, you do it too. Clap your hands with me. Yay, did you like that Mavis? Yay, let's see if you like this book. The Three Billy Goats Buenos. There once were three goats, a brotherly trio. They needed to crisscross a fast moving Rio. But under the bridge lived a grumpy gigante with tootsies as big as a small elefante. So you might notice some of these words are in Spanish. Roll's ojos were glowing. Her nose was a hook. She stopped kids from crossing with one scary look. With three heads together, a mission was planned. They get past the grumpiest troll in the land. Oh, so see these three? They want to get past the troll. You think they're going to do it? The smallest goat, Uno, so intelligente, clipped clopped right up to the edge of El Puente. Hey, roared the, troll, roared the troll, her giant head bobbing. You have some nerve, and soon you'll be sobbing. Oh, so that goat, he looks a little scared of that troll, doesn't he? Please, said the hoof shaking tiny, Pabrito, may I go by in a short momentito? How many creatures can pass me? Ningunos. You kids will be part of mamis desayunos. Oh, that doesn't sound good. He's saying you can't pass me. Sounds like he wants to eat it. Ooh. Wait, said the little goat. I'm not sabroso. Try my big brother. He's so delicioso. In fact, my small bones will stick in your dientes. Wait till the bigger goat reaches your puente. Oh, so he's saying, my bolder brother's much bigger and he tastes better. He's headed this way to the meadow of grass. The troll licked her labiosos. Fine, you may pass. The little goat crossed to the banks of their lado, then followed his nose to the lush, lovely prado. Oh, so look, the goat wants to eat that delicious green grass. Along came the second goat, numero dos. Halt, yelled the troll in her screech scratchy voice. My meal is before me, here for the taking. See these big chompers? Why aren't you shaking? I would be shaking if I walked into the scary troll. What about you? Wait, said the middle ghost. I'm not sabroso. Try my big brother, he's so delicioso. The troll rubbed her chin, both whiskered and warty. I heard a rumor that you taste good, Shorty. Oh, bless you, Mavis. Oh, wait, but there's three of them, right? Because the story is called The Three Billy Goats Buenos. And this one's goat number two. The goat shook his spotted cabaza. Not me. These spots will taste bitter. I'm the worst of the three. The troll licked her labios. 
fine. You may pass. The ghost hurried off to the clover and grass. So, oh, that goat got by. But that means there's only one goat left. He joined his hermano, the two butted heads. They frolicked and romped like true quadrupeds. The next came the biggest goat, numero trace. If the troll lets me by, what will she eat this place? Uh-oh, so this one seems a little nervous because he's the last one. And why she's so grumpy, Trace wanted to know. His gentle eyes noticed the gal's swollen toe. Stuck to her foot was a long, sharp esquina. Ay, that must hurt you a lot, me, Vecina. Oh no, I didn't notice that. She has a thorn in her toe. Do you think that's why she's so mean? A big salty lagrima fell from her eye. No one has noticed. You're the first guy. The goat called his brothers. This troll needs a remedy. Please gather her boss to soothe her extremity. So that's nice. This troll wasn't being very nice to them, but they're being nice to her. They realize that she was hurting and they want to help her. Goat Trace hold the thorn. He used his big dientes. That gal was the happiest troll of all Puentes. The others found herbs, mashed them up with their teeth, returned to her foot, put the paste underneath. So, oh, they pulled out her thorn and they're helping her out. These are really nice goats. Next, they picked fruit toss in an orchard nearby. A gift of manzanas, she said, I might cry. The troll scared Kara stopped looking so mean, and she'd wave to the three as they crossed the green. So look at that. They all became friends. Isn't that nice? They saw that she was hurting, and they helped her out, and now they're all friends. Young cabritos, and don't pay a toll. We're all amigos, said their new friend, the troll. So, aw. I always liked that story. And this one I liked that they all became friends at the end. So I'm surprised she's still being so good. So I'm gonna hope I didn't just jinx that. So now let's see, Mavis and I are gonna sing a little song about goats and trolls. Everyone ready? If you're a goat and you know it, show your horns. If you're a goat and you know it, show your horns. If you're a goat and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a goat and you know it, show your horns. So when you do it, you might want to use two hands on each side, but I don't want to drop her. If you're a troll and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a troll and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a troll and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a troll and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a goat and you know it, climb up high. If you're a goat and you know it, climb up high. If you're a goat and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a goat and you know it, climb up high. If you're a troll and you know it, eat a rock. If you're a troll and you know it, eat a rock. If you're a troll and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a troll and you know it, eat a rock. Uh-oh, she's losing it. Better finish. If you're a goat and you know it, go to sleep. If you're a goat and you know it, go to sleep. If you're a goat and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a goat and you know it, go to sleep. Okay, I think we made it through story time. Mavis was very good. I think she's starting to get tired, so I'm going to put her down for her nap. And we'll see everyone next week for our next story time. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's you, Mavis.